In this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how to import extreme FOSS images on PNET Lab or Eve Engine. So, I have my PNET Lab window open. I am running my PNET Lab on VMware ESXi. So, as you know, PNET Lab is like the cracked version of uh, Eve Engine. So, first we need to go to documentation. How to create images. I have to search here uh, extreme boss image here boss so first thing first we need to download the image unlike Cisco this uh, extreme images are like on github anybody can go and download so click this link to download your uh, boss image so I recommend going with the latest and the created version greatest version so I'm going to download FOSS 8.10.0 to save in my extreme folder okay, that's done I'm going to close it then before we can upload the image to the to our uh, server we need to update our template icons and config script so the link is already here so I'm going to just click on it so uh, over here if you have professional version of evng then this is what you need to do but i don't have it so i'm just going to import the image and icons uh, manually into my server so the link is here <coughs> so there are uh, <coughs> two files that i need the script and the icon so i know how to get this files now so I'm going to minimize my window now I'm going to upload my image to the server you know what just uh, to the uh, script first so over here you can see that first we need to do the template so let's go to templates I'm running on my server that has Intel processor in it. So I'm going to just click on Intel. Here I'm going to search for extreme let's see. extreme pause. Yes. So, uh, extreme XOS is very easy. I am not going to demonstrate how to do that, but uh, on, for this video, I am just going to show how to do FOSS. So, click on that one, download FOSS. I am going to save it in my extreme folder. <coughs> then, I need icon. So, icon would be here as well. icon that we need it, it over here doesn't say uh, extreme icon or anything it says the icon that we need is called switch l32 how i know please don't ask i'm going to click on that one going to download it save it in my folder i think i got everything that i need at this moment so I'm going to use two tools here. One is Putty. Let's log into Putty. Here is my Pnet. Login as a root. <coughs> Login successful. And another tool I need is WinSCP. I prefer WinSCP because it's easier in my opinion. So I'm going to connect to my pnet, click in my password, okay. So first we need to go to this direction, here, this. 
this directory. So, yeah, I'm already here. <coughs> so, opt unit lab HTML templates. So, over here, I need to uh, upload my extreme fast YAML file to the template folder. So, I'm just drag and drop over here. Let's verify that from command line. <coughs> As you can see, yeah, I got extreme FOSS over here. The reason why uh, this is yellow is because I haven't fixed the permission yet. So let's see, let me go back to the website. Yeah, here. This is how you fix permission. To a newly added file. Let's do ls now. See, extreme boss is now green, which is good. Next step would be I have to upload the icon. So the icon would be is at this directory. Let's copy that, go to our directory on SSH. Now I'll go back to WinSCP. Images, icons. So I'm going to upload my switch L32 on this directory. Same thing, we have to fix the permission. L32. Nice. So all the prerequisites are now done. We don't have to do anything else to be honest with you. So I'm just going to close this window. Now we have to upload the image file that we undownloaded in the, at the beginning to our server. To the our peanut server so I'm just going to close my SSH I don't need it anymore I need my WinSCP Sorry. where we need to upload this image to is opt unit lab add-ons kmu yes and over here we need to uh, make a folder so let's create a new directory here and we are going to call it stream boss then the version number so my version number is 8.10.1 that should be good I hope so got it now we need to upload the farmer here. So this is my farmer. I'm going to upload it in this folder. And the next step would be to rename the file as hda.qcow2. So let's rename it to hda. Now we need to fix our permission. So I'll just go to my peanut lab over here. Right now we are we have done. The only thing is what happened. Let's 
so let's go to system setting we can do we can also fix permission from here as well so let's click on fix permission let's go to extreme open the empty lab note what you need extreme boss everything looks good save it open it if everything goes well then we'll have our prompt wow it's done r w a r w a awesome i'm sorry So let's check the version. Show sys info. So you can see you have extreme image and it's a fabric engine. I hope this is helpful to you and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.